Hello everybody, welcome back to E20 Zone TV. Hope you're having a very, very good Monday. The sun is shining, West Ham have won over the weekend. What more do you want in life? Um, but what we do want is signings, and this is the Rumour Has It show. And for me, I've got three players that I'm going to talk about. First off, let's talk about this man who is coming in, Mavropanos. Looks like a deal is fully done. And he is going to be a West Ham player this week, which is really, really good news for West Ham, I'm going to be honest. Obviously, losing um, Nafer Gued yesterday to a red card, silly red card from Nafer Gued. Got to be honest, Mavropanos comes in, I think he has to start next week against Brighton. I don't think we can give him time just to bed in. He's been in the Premier League before with Arsenal. Um, I think for the fee, it's a great fee. He looks a very, very good player. I discussed it last week. But this deal is close to being completed. And to say we're going to get a decent player is an understatement. If you look at his stats, all the boys are very, very happy with his stats and think he's going to be a little gem for West Ham. And let's say he, he becomes a very, very good player for us. Do you know what I mean? Arsenal fans ain't convinced. I spoke to many Arsenal fans over the weekend. They said, I don't know what you're buying him for. He's really not all that good. But they did say since he's been to Germany, he's massively improved. So, Mavropanos, incoming, good signing. Move on to this man, who seems to return every transfer window, and that's El Naziri, or El Nezri, every way you want to put it. Uh, £35 million has been reported today by uh, Damashev uh, from Sky Sports. And I don't know. I don't know on this one. Uh, obviously, when he played for Seville against us, he was pretty bang average, if I'm speaking on his truth. But I can understand the logic by it. He's very, very good in the air. We've got one of the best set-piece uh, takers in the league. You're getting someone who's quality in the air. He's not bad on the ground. He's a good striker to a point. Can he do it in the Premier League? Obviously, he's got the Moroccan connection with uh, Nayef Agued. And for 35 million for a striker, and we do need a striker at this club, El Naziri could be a really, really good uh, player to have at West Ham. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I'm a bit torn on this one. I really am. I think a year ago, I was all up for the idea. Now, I think there's better strikers out there that you can go and get who are younger with, with a sell-on value and also with more potential than El, El Naziri. Um, I'm going to say that this one probably won't get done because he's been linked with us so many times at West Ham. And it's quite frustrating, really. Every window, it seems like his name just pops up as like a bit of like clickbait content, so to speak. But... He's a, he is a good player. He is a good player. And he, he can be a nuisance in, in the box. Do you know what I'm saying? But is he right for West Ham right now? I don't really know. I don't really know on this one. £35 million has been reported. We put a bid in last year of £27 million for him. Got rejected. West Ham have gone in with another bid or looking to go in with another bid for £35 million. Uh, I think it's a bit strong when there's other players out there that you can go and get. Like, I think Balogun's sitting there in Arsenal. I think he's a very good, very, very good player. Um, but El Naziri, if he does decide he wants to try it in East London, then I'll, who are we to judge at the end of the day? Do you know what I'm saying? So we will see what happens with that. And moving on to this man, Kudus of Ajax. Uh, West Ham it are reportedly between three and five mil apart from the asking price for uh, this man. Ajax are sort of stamping down like their feet and saying, nope, we want this amount. I think uh, this will get done at some stage. At the end of the day, I think between three and five mil, you can work it in different ways. You can add like a, like a bit more like, like sell-on value uh, or a clause or something else that could sort of sway the deal. We need to get this man in the door. He had a very, very good weekend by all accounts. He assisted a goal, I think, I believe, and he was very, very good. I think he had a like, man of the match performance. <clears throat> Excuse me. But Kudus is a man that West Ham been chasing like, pretty much for the vast majority of his window. And since Brighton had didn't get him, West Ham have gone in and got this man. They need to get this man over the line there. Do you know what I'm saying? He, I think he wants to come. Um, he's got a, a fellow colleague who he works with at Ajax in Alvarez, already here, who was very, very good yesterday. And I think West Ham can't be mucking about with this one, right? I think they've mucked about uh, for too long. If you can't get this deal done over between three and five mil uh, apart, whether that's adding a, a clause in, 
basically making the payments shorter, but like uh, in regards of paying Ajax, something needs to be done, and this man needs to be at the club really before Brighton. I want to see this man in West Ham shirt this week, and I don't want to have to wait to loot and away to see this man in a West Ham shirt. I think he's dynamic. I think he's he's that sort of raw pace that we need. He's powerful. He's a man that we've been crying out for for ages. He's a ball carrier. He's definitely what West Ham need. Um, will we get this done? That is the million-dollar question right now. I honestly don't know with West Ham, really, when it comes to this sort of thing. When they're haggling over three to five million, it's it can be a bit of a pain with us as fans looking at this and going, well, this man is like he's going to make us a lot better. He's, a, he's another option off the bench. And if West Ham do foul in this bid and Jesse Lingard does sign a contract, which is a bit 50-50 at present, then I'm going to be angry that West Ham have failed on this man because this man's only 22 years old, I believe, and he, he's, got, he's, he's got the world at his feet. And at the end of the day, West Ham need to go in there, get this man, make sure he's in a claret and blue shirt for Brighton, right, and get it done. Um, obviously, negotiations are taking place to, to, right today over in Ajax. And I, let's hope by the end of, of today, beginning part of, of Tuesday morning, West Ham can get a resolution to this matter. Because for me, it's it's just what we need. It's just what we need. He's, he, he's a statement signing. I've been very, very impressed with the two signings so far that we've signed in Alvarez and James Paul Prowse. And I said it yesterday on the afterthought and the player ratings. James Paul Prowse is a very, very good player. Like, I didn't realise how good he actually really was. Right? But Alvarez is, is very special also, and I think this man could be a real gem for West Ham. Um, obviously, we've been in it with Doku, uh, who looks destined for Manchester City. But for me, in regards of uh, Kudos, it has to get done. Right? There is no two ways about that. Like it, 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 We can't be hesitating. Do you know what I'm saying? West Ham are... I want West Ham to be a bit more proactive and get these players in. Obviously, we've got two games left before the international break appears. Brighton away, Luton away. I expect uh, Mavropanos to be done early part of this week, uh, either today or tomorrow. I think he, he could possibly start at the weekend. If he's match fit, he's ready to go, he starts because we, we haven't got a centre-half other than Obonna. And I think Obonna against Brighton's tricky players could be a bit of a problem. But he very much impressed me yesterday. So... Matthew Panos will get done, and I'm hoping Kudos gets done. If Kudos gets done, then I'm going to be over the moon. I am really going to be over the moon because I've watched enough of this guy to know that he's a talent. Ajax know how to breed decent players, and they do it very, very well uh, in regards to scouting players, recruitment, everything. So, you know what? It will remain to be seen what happens with that. Anyway, I'm going to love and leave you. I want you to enjoy your day. It is absolutely beautiful in the UK today. Do you know what I mean? I hope you have a good day wherever you are. And I will see you again in the next one. That has been your Rumour Has It show for Monday. And I will see you again very soon. Peace.